If you clicked on this video, chances are that you want to land a job in cloud security and with good reason. The cloud computing market is exploding, projected to reach an insane 1.6 trillion by 2030. Now combined with the fact that 35% of organizations say cloud security is their biggest talent gap and nearly 40% of IT professionals report it as their most critical skills shortage. So what is that creating? An unprecedented opportunity. You see, companies are scrambling to hire and they're willing to pay top dollar to secure top talent. Cloud security engineers are commanding on average $130,000 with total compensation packages reaching over $160,000. But there's a catch as always. <laughs> so if you're new here, hi, I'm Suleiman. I've worked in tech for a decade and today I help businesses scale and secure the cloud infrastructure on AWS. Now, also running my education company, I've discovered that most people are approaching this golden opportunity in cloud security completely wrong. They pass a few certifications and watch a few YouTube tutorials, and then they wonder why they're not able to get a job. If that's you right now, then don't worry it's not your fault. The rules of the game for 2025 have completely changed and nobody told you the new rules. So I'm going to give away my three step blueprint for the fastest way to learn cloud security and actually land a job. And no, I'm not teaching you anything that doesn't work. This is the same route that students inside of my academy are leveraging to land jobs like Mac and Jay, but we'll get to that later on. And by the way, join over 10,000 engineers and grab our beginner's guide to the cloud it's completely free, linked in the description. So the first step to landing your cloud security jobs is actually building a solid foundation in the cloud. You have to understand how it works. Like before you can go out and about and secure things, you need to know what you are actually securing. I know it sounds obvious, but you'd be surprised how many people skip this important step. So you got to understand what cloud computing is, why we use the cloud and delve in deep. And I also want you to focus on AWS. Not only is it the market leader so it has the most opportunities but everything that you learn in AWS is also applicable to Azure and GCP and because I'm an expert so you know I'm never going to recommend you something that I'm not already an expert in. So some of the things that you will cover is what the shared responsibility model is right how do cloud providers manage the physical security and some of the infrastructure but you as the user will be responsible for the data the permissions and the applications that you deploy. This step is just about getting comfortable with new concepts and you you're not going to become an expert after a single week, but you're going to be picking things up really quickly. And honestly, if you are a beginner, you should get your AWS Cloud Practitioner certification as well. That won't really take you more than just two weeks, and it's a good way to build your confidence. So you also come across virtualization. This is fundamental to how the cloud works because it allows you to split one physical computer into multiple separate virtual machines. And why is that good? Now, each virtual computer has its own operating system system, memory, and it runs independently, which means that if things go wrong or one of the machines crashes, the whole system doesn't fail, just the individual machine. So for example, if one of the virtual machines gets infected with malware because you haven't secured it properly, it can't spread to others. And this is how cloud providers like AWS run all these customer workloads on the same physical hardware whilst keeping everyone's data separate and secure it's through virtualization. Now, I've covered virtualization, but there's also storage, networking, understanding what operating systems are, and just basic cloud architecture. Then it's time to layer in the cloud security principles on top. And you wanna start with the CIA triad and learn what we mean by confidentiality, integrity, and availability. You need to learn IAM, identity and access management, which is actually a huge section of cloud security just by itself. I actually have a friend that works in this field and is definitely a lucrative field to be in with plenty of money. Now you also need to cover encryption fundamentals, threat detection basics, and how we implement these concepts into cloud environments. VPCs are also crucial, virtual private cloud, like find out what that even means, as well as security groups and knuckles. These are all cloud security fundamentals that complement a lot of the cloud knowledge that you would have already built. And just to make sure you're not cutting any corners or missing any gaps, you should also get your CompTI a Security Plus certificate. Again, it's just good for your confidence boost and gives you a little bit more 
structured learning. That said, these certificates won't get you a job, but make sure you wait until step number three in this blueprint, because I'll be giving away the new way to actually land a cloud security job in 2025. So to really get the most out of step one, and this is something that I go by myself whenever I'm tackling something new, you need to have an inquisitorial mindset. Question everything. Take Elon Musk and how he's always drumming on about his first principle thinking and how he leveraged that to build Tesla and SpaceX and all these other great companies that he's leading. And if you don't know, first principles thinking is basically breaking everything down to the most fundamental truths. So instead of just accepting that, oh yeah, we need a VPC because everyone says so, ask yourself, why do we need it? What problem is it actually solving? How does it make our infrastructure more secure? Like when you're learning about security groups, don't just memorize the details, understand what that actually means in practice. What happens when you allow inbound traffic? What about the return traffic? Why would you choose a security group over a NACL? What are the differences? Do you see what I mean? It's about digging deeper than just the surface level stuff that you find in certification courses. Because here is the thing, in the real world, when you're working as a cloud security engineer, you're going to face problems that aren't in any study guide. And that's when this kind of thinking will really pay off. And that's why I always tell my students, don't just learn what to do, learn why we do it. When you understand the why, you can make better decisions about security. You can look at a company's infrastructure and actually understand their security needs. So as you're going through step one, keep asking questions. And once you get that breadth of knowledge, you are ready for step two, and that's to apply your knowledge and start building projects. Now, this is actually by far the most important step, but make sure you stay for what I'm going to tell you in step number three, because when you combine it with projects, that's the fastest way to actually get hired as a cloud our security engineer, and that's the reason why I made this video. So a lot of beginners get caught up in just collecting certifications, and you're not going to make the same mistake. Because if you want to actually land a cloud security job, you have to get building real world solutions that actually solve problems. And if you're just starting out, you can start by securing a static website on S3, which will teach you about bucket policies, encryption and access control. The foundation you'll be using is Amazon S3 for hosting, but we are focusing on implementing proper security rather than just getting our files online. You'll learn how to configure bucket policies that maintain public access to website content while preventing unauthorized modifications. Now, the IAM configuration, the Identity and Access Management, is where you'll implement proper access control. You'll create roles with minimum required permissions. This prevents potential security breaches from overly permissive settings. And when you build this, you're learning real security architecture that companies are actually using. And yes, this will require coding, specifically infrastructure's code with Python or TypeScript or Terraform, which adds efficiency and you'll write scripts that will handle deployment whilst also verifying security configurations. This prevents common security gaps that happen with manual deployments. And these scripts can check bucket policies, file permissions, and encryption settings before allowing uploads. You also integrate guard duty, which provides active security monitoring. You'll set up alerts for suspicious activities and learn how to respond to potential threats. And to tie everything together, you'll want to use GitHub of version control and documentation. Now, this gives you a complete history of infrastructure changes and provides rollback capabilities if security issues are discovered. That said, I can also give you loads of project ideas, but I've already done this in previous videos, step-by-step -step breakdown, so I'm not going to cover that anymore, but that's a great one to get started on. But if you're watching this and thinking, okay, I'm super motivated and I want to start learning and building projects, then I want to tell you that I am running a special cohort right now, and we're taking in new students, so if you're interested and ready to take action, just like Jay Martinez, one of our students that got laid off as a banker and got hired as a cloud engineer in just a few months, or Mac, who after joining my academy, landed a job as a systems engineer at AWS, then click the link in the description and book a call with my team. But just know this isn't for everyone because it's just not possible for us to bring in 100 people at once because the demand is really high. And right now the cloud is booming. So we want to make sure we can actually help the people that we bring on. So yeah, book a call to see if you qualify for for our special cohorts. Now, that brings me to step number three, which is one key strategy that will actually get you a job, but we can only get to the solution once we've covered the current state of the job market. So throughout the years of working multiple six-figure roles, I never really had to apply for them, and I'm going to share you my secret right now. So everyone's out there thinking, oh, I'll just apply for hundreds of jobs, send my CV, write a nice cover letter, 
but let me tell you what's actually happening behind the scenes and why you might be struggling. I'm seeing businesses, especially smaller ones right now, getting absolutely flooded with applications. I listed a job application not long ago and I got hundreds of applications. In fact, I get daily messages of people wanting to work for me for free, despite having many years of experience, people aren't able to find a job. And the thing is, with how ChatGPT and AI tools are making it very easy to apply for jobs, and what is that causing? These businesses are just getting overwhelmed with applications. They're getting all of these applications that look amazing on paper, but there's no trust there. There's no real connection. And that's where I want you to pay attention because this is the key thing that most people are missing. In today's market, 2025 is not about just having the technical skills anymore. Yes, you need them. Don't get me wrong. That's your foundation. But what's actually going to land you that job? It is trust. It's building real connections in a community. And think about it from a business owner's perspective. If I'm running a small team and I need to hire someone, am I going to read and look through all of these thousands of AI generated applications Absolutely not. I am going to look at my network. I'm looking at the people who've been consistently showing up, the ones who've been adding value in my community. The people who are landing jobs aren't just mass applying for them. They're the ones who are in there every day, helping others solve problems, sharing their knowledge. They are building trust before they even need to ask for a job. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking but I don't have time for all that. I need a job right now. And listen, I get it, I understand. But in today's job market, you've got to play the long game. You've got to be genuine about it. If you're not actually passionate about cloud security, if you're not willing to put in the groundwork to build those relationships, to provide the value, it's going to be really tough for you. And look, here is something that I've learned from running my own businesses. We have to get every hiring decision right. I need to genuinely believe that it's the right decision because the implications for me are big. So ask yourself, am I going to trust a random application or someone in my community that's been providing value? Exactly. And this isn't just me. Do you know why Amazon and JP Morgan and all these big tech companies always ask for referrals? Or if you've been referred by someone, it's because of trust. They fast track these candidates straight to interviews because someone they trust is vouching for them. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Yes, applying for hundreds of job applications will get you somewhere and it's a numbers game. And if you keep at it, something will stick. And that's worked for me in the past. But let's be real. Most people get demoralized and will give give up after just 10 applications. And here's the reality. 90% of recruiters are on LinkedIn actively searching for candidates. They are literally there looking for people like yourself. And this is what I'm seeing for my own students, right? And when they start implementing their LinkedIn strategies, they start getting inbound from recruiters. And think about it. If a recruiter searches for cloud security engineer and you're not showing up in those searches, then you don't exist to them. You are invisible. But when you're actively posting, now you are on their radar. And that's what's happening with all of our students. They're not just sitting there sending out applications into the void. Because when recruiters come to you, you are already positioned as someone valuable because they want to talk to you. And the leverage that it gives you, it's night and day. And a secret tip for you right now, especially on LinkedIn, videos are the way to go. Just look at my LinkedIn if you haven't seen already. I'm doubling down on this myself, on my own LinkedIn, and posting videos every single day. And I'm getting so many more impressions and therefore leads for my businesses. And if you want a step-by-step -step roadmap for everything that you need to learn in cloud security, then go check out this video right here.